Welcome to the channel. This is Waga. We're going to continue building our Instagram clone and what we're going to work on today is um, we're going to work on a couple of extension methods and we're also going to work on the user model that we're going to use for this app. So let's get to work. We're going to come here um, on Flexigram and we can create a new group where we'll put all our models. We could come here and we could say model models. Let me spell it correctly. Models and the first model of course has to be the user. Uh, we could say Swift file and this is going to be user like so or the you could call it user or user let's call it user model user model like that that's more yeah that's better so we hit create and we come here and we create our user which is going to be a struct like so this is going to be user um, it's going to conform to a few protocols which we have not defined yet, which we will, and then we'll come back and put it here. So we could say this is going to have a UID of string. Uh, the email is also going to be a string. The profile image, profile image URL, no prizes for guessing if you guess string. The username. Username is also going to be of type string and um, the uh, let me just go down var search search name this is going to be an array of strings right I'll explain what they do in a bit in a few and um, finally the bio the bio is going to be also predictably of type string will be explained easily explained except such name right you know what the bio is you know what the profile image is the email the uid etc what is not known is what the search name is now the search name is what we have what we will um the search name we're going to take the the user's username we're going to break it up into its constituent characters put each of them in a in a what's it called in um in an array and this will help us such that when we are searching for a user, when we go to the user search page and we click on it and we search for the user, we're going to be able to get the user faster. Because if you type R, you're going to get everyone who's, every user whose name has an R in it. So this is basically going to help us on our search page. That's why we have. What we're going to do is when we create a user, we're going to take whatever username has been passed, split it into um, user array methods, so split it into various characters, put them in, save them on Firebase um, as independent characters. And then when we search on the user page, like if you type A, you get like um, like when you're searching for the Google predictive search, right? That's the that's what we're going for, Google predictive search, yeah. So basically, that's why we have search name here as an array of strings. Come back to our flexigram, and um, in the utilities folder or group, we could hit command N, and we are going to create um, a new Swift file, and this is going to be for our extension extensions so we could say extensions and what we're going to do in the extensions first is we are going to um, create an extension to the encodable protocol so that we can code um, we can convert our user um, our user from we can convert it into what's it called into a dictionary right when you get a user you can just convert it into a user into a dictionary so for that we could say here func as as dictionary it's going to be a function and um it's going to throw so you can take throws and this is going to be string any and here we're going to have, um, we could say, try JSON encoder, and we're going to encode self, like so. And after that, we could say, uh, um, let's just say, God, let dictionary. And this is going to be dot j um dot json 
JSON object and we could say here with with data uh, with data and the data here is going to be the data variable that we just created data like so the options are going to be um, dot allow fragments like so and we could say here as and this is going to be string any and we could say else we're going to throw an error so we could say throw ns error like so after that we can return the return the dictionary yeah so basically that so after that we can return the dictionary now what this will do is um if we for example have uh, our user which will conform to this protocol which will conform to this encodable protocol if we have a user here and we say maybe a equals two and um, B equals six or whatever 67 or whatever we have um, we have created the user the various uh, variables for the user what we could what we could return what we could get after running it through the as dictionary function is we could get something like this right we could get a dictionary where the keys are strings we could say a a1 a2 sorry a2 and um b would be uh 67 like so so we would get this so we can just get rid of this carefully get rid of that yeah and now what we need to do is the opposite of this right now convert it from when we have um when we we're going to send this dictionary to firestore right we're going to take this dictionary and send it to firestore but that's a few videos down but what we could do now is we could um, create the decodable because um, the reason we're creating this now is because the user model is going to conform to encodable and can put it, okay, let's just put it, uh, it's going to, um, it's going to conform to our expanded, extended encodable protocol and decodable, which we have um, encodable and decodable of course make up the codable protocol and this is something we have not created so we could come here and we could say extension we can extend the decodable protocol to give it a bit more functionality and what we could say here is um, init and from here we could say from dictionary and this is going to be any and we can say throws and here we could say let's let data equals try json serialization dot data and inside we're going to have with json object with json object and um this is going to be from dictionary since we're converting it from dictionary and um, the options is going to be dot pretty printed like so and after that we're going to say let's decoder let decoder equals json json decoder like so and after that we're going to say self self equals try um try the decoder dot decode and we're going to have self dot self and uh, we're going to do it from data like so so this will do the opposite take the um uh take the the dictionary and convert it back into our user um all this is arising from our user model right we need to create a string that will handle the search name so we could just do it now rather than do it later right so the next thing to do is to add an extension to our string uh, to our strings and we could come here and we could say um this will split strings into an array right so we could say func and we will use it on our username func split 
split string, that's what we're going to call it. If you have a more creative name, please do use it. And this is going to return an array of, you guessed it, and um, what we could have here first, we could create a variable, we could say var string array, and um, var string array is going to be an array of and it is going to be, that just means it's going to be empty, right? When we start off, right? And um, after that, we could say, let, let, um, we could say trimmed, trimmed, and this trimmed is going to be this. It's going to be string self with filter, and um, we're going to have, what this line does, if you can see it, it's complaining. Initialization, but it was never used. Ah, okay, fine. Um, what this line does is that it um, it removes tabs and new lines. Uh, let me just show you an example. Our new line does our new uh, what the line of code does. Um, here I just wrote it removes tabs and new line strings. Uh, strings. So what we could do is I'm in my playground, so we could come down here and we could just hit play and um, let's get rid of this first now let's hit play and uh, let's get rid of this one okay let's hit play now we should see it we see that um, this is a string right it's um, broken up like that but when we print test and test basically takes the string and runs it um, through the filter that we created right and um, we hit that we should get this is a string so basically that is what will happen to our our string we need to iterate over each of the items of the jumbled up string that i just showed um while also taking into account uh, its position in the array right so we're going to, for that we're going to use uh, enumerated and um we could say here for this is just a for loop right and this is going to be index and um we're not going to use um uh, we're not going to use the second argument and uh, we could say in trimmed and we could say dot enumerated like so and um, we could say here let prefix uh, prefix index and this is going to be index um, plus one and after that we could say let sub sh let sub substring let's just call it let substring uh, prefix and what this line of code is going to do is just going to lowercase it of course the the second argument we chose not to use was the item itself in the array right so for here we could come for this we could just come here and say string and uh, we're going to pass in our trimmed trimmed let's just spell it correctly trimmed and um, this is going to be the prefix this is a method of on string and um, we could pass in the prefix uh, prefix index like so and then we're going to lowercase everything we could say uh, lowercase like so and after that we're going to append we are going to say um, string array dot append and we're going to put in the sub sub string prefix like so so basically, yeah, that's what it's going to do. Why is it still complaining? And um, what you're going to return is uh, the string array. So here we could just come and return the string array, like so. So we hit that and we now have something that can split our username and we can put it in an array as a result, right? So um, this prefix method on string, it returns a subsequence a subsequence until a specified length which is going to be our prefix index so it's just going to return um a list of characters or yeah characters until um the current index and um from the initial collection basically that you will see it in action when we actually um save a user of our user model and we also have a couple of extension methods for the sp for splitting the string and for decoding and encoding our user model so basically yeah so basically that is that um a bit of a shorter video than usual but yeah i like to 
to keep um to keep the videos logically coherent so when we're building a page we might spend a lot more time until we build the entire superstructure of the page and um but when we're just setting up the user model it's better to leave it like this because if we go on to the next thing which is um I think uh, setting up a session store and signing up and signing out, it will extend the length of the video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment description. Um, leave a comment in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.